36 and we are getting a chance to see numbers from the CDC showing a dramatic increase in the amount of drug overdose deaths and it is a new high for this country. More than 96,000 people have died in the US during a 12 month period from March 2020 to March 2021. That's an increase of nearly 30%. These deaths were happening during a time when COVID-19 forced serious changes in all of our lives. I recently got a chance to speak with Dan Snyder about this. Snyder is the former St. Bernard pharmacist made famous from the Netflix documentary. He is also the founder of the group Tunnel of Hope. It is a nonprofit working to end the opioid epidemic. He tells me why the pandemic and isolation drove these numbers, but also about another reason for the spike. When you really had total isolation, a lot of people couldn't get in-person connections. They couldn't go to AA meetings. They couldn't go to Narcotics Anonymous. Some of the treatment centers were even uh, uh, limiting what they were able to do. And so, you know, you know part of uh, drug abuse uh, is, is uh, loneliness, okay, and feel, feeling alone. And so the people that are in recovery usually... Uh, you know, they, they, they band together pretty much and they kind of help each other and, you know, and success rates weren't good, but they, they, they decent. Okay. But during COVID with all isolation, uh, that rate got a lot worse. And then of course, remember too now, the distress and anxiety of this thing. Okay. And uh, in some cases, unemployment, uh, uh, people who experimented with drugs that never took them before. So there's a, a myriad of things that, that uh, led to uh, this being such a big problem along with the blossoming of fentanyl. What do you think people should do going forward? Uh, even if you don't know or have somebody in your family that's impacted by opioid overdose, seeing these numbers is really alarming and people do want to help. What, what, can, what can people do? Well, let me just tell you, the number last year was 93,000. If you think about LSU Stadium, that's just about how many people fit in LSU Stadium. And you know, they call it Death Valley. Think of it full of the people that die from overdose, okay? And remember, some of those are youthful kids that didn't have substance use disorder that took a pill, okay? And so they in the stands also, all right? And my biggest message right now is to parents, okay? And teachers, and anybody that you talk to these kids, warn them, okay? It used to be, you know, lots of times we exaggerated in the past and we'd say, it's like Russian roulette trying drugs, okay? And it was a little bit of an exaggeration, okay? But nowadays, actually, this fentanyl can be in anything. They put it in marijuana, they put methamphetamine, in ecstasy, they put it in uh, uh, Percocet, uh, Xanax. Uh, and so now it's truly Russian roulette. And according to the CDC, nearly 841,000 people have died since 1999 from a drug overdose.